Hey everyone, this is Cooking with TK. Today, you guys, I have prepared in my Ninja Foodie a delicious whole chicken, or some would say a whole hen. That's right, I cooked this up in my Ninja Foodie under my um, Air Crisp Tender Crisp lid. It is very crispy, it turned out really, really well. Um, if you guys would like to know how I prepared this whole chicken or whole hen in my Ninja Foodie under my Tender Crisp lid, let's get into this video so that you two can make you a nice, delicious whole chicken in your Ninja Foodie. Let's get started. Okay, you guys. So the first thing that I did was um, I let my tender crisp lid down on my ninja foodie okay then i turn my ninja foodie on okay i am going to press my um air crisp button for my tender crisp lid i am going to set the temperature to 400 degrees as you see here then i am going to preheat my ninja foodie under the tender crisp lid i am going to set it for one hour so that it can be nice and warm when we get ready to put our hen in it. So preheat it up to 100, I mean up to one hour. When it gets to 45 sec minutes, it will be preheated, okay? So after it starts to preheat, we are going to get ready to season our whole hen. That's right, let's go ahead and let's get ready to season this whole hen. So wash your whole hen first. Okay, I washed my whole hen. I am going to use gloves because I'm going to make sure that I put the seasoning all over. Okay, I am going to use um, some Sazon seasoning packet. Okay, that's by Goya. Um, if you don't have Sazon seasoning or any of the seasonings that I am using in this video, trust me, you can use the seasonings that you like, such as lemon pepper seasoning. Okay, I'm going to use some Tony Saturated Creole Seasoning. I am going to use some regular black pepper. And I have some sea salt. I am going to use some vegetable oil. You can use canola oil if you like. And I'm going to use a stick of butter. Um, also, you can use um, any type of oil you choose. Okay, the first thing I am going to do is to take the butter. And I'm going to lift up the skin on our whole chicken or whole hen. And we are going to place that butter underneath the skin. That's right. Because the meat under the skin needs to be seasoned and have some kind of taste to it as well. Okay. So now I'm going to take some more butter and I am going to rub the outside of the hen all over that's correct rub that butter all over that chicken from the front to the back to the inside to the outside the legs the thighs the back the wings the breast and you're gonna rub it really really well okay so after you get all that butter rubbed in really really well as you see I'm doing here rub it in massage it in okay you are going to um, get ready to put the oil on. So pour the oil over it and rub the oil from the front to the back as well on that whole chicken. Okay, that whole hen. Just keep going until you get it rubbed in very, very well. Um, you can use EVOO if you like. Okay. Now let's go ahead and let's place our seasoning. The first season that I'm going to use is the Saison seasoning by Goya Saison. It has a lot of different flavors in that seasoning and it adds a beautiful color to your um, hen as well. And remember this recipe can be done in the oven as well um, if you don't have a ninja foodie to cook this hen in. Okay. Next, I'm going to add my black pepper. I'm not using any measurements. You add the seasoning to your liking, okay? Me, I placed it on every inch, okay? 
and I'm going to do the same thing with the Tony Saturates Creole Seasoning. And that seasoning tastes very, very good, okay? Now, you're going to um, go ahead and try to add some more of that seasoning under the skin as well that you have rubbed on your um, hand. Flip that hand over and get ready to put some seasoning on the back side, okay? So, we're going to go ahead and add that black pepper. We're going to add some Sazon to the back side, Sazon seasoning. And we're going to add some of that Tony Saturay seasoning as well to the back side. And go ahead and rub that in really, really well also, okay? And any seasoning that's falling off, you can pick it up and just re-rub it on there like I am doing so here. And yes, that's why I have a glove because with that butter and the oil, it gets kind of messy. Okay, okay, so now, after heating our uh, Ninja Foodie up for 15 to 20 minutes, we are going to get ready to place our um, hen in our Ninja Foodie and allow it to cook. Okay, so my hen has been cooking in my Ninja Foodie for approximately about... 30 minutes on the front side okay I have cooked this so far for 30 minutes remember I'm going to cook this for an hour in my ninja foodie okay at the 400 degrees so now I'm going to flip it on the other side and I'm going to cook the other side for 30 minutes as well you guys um it is very crispy you can hear the crisp you can feel the crisp you can see the crisp and I use some tongs to flip my hand over and a spatula. Um, be very, very careful because it is extremely hot, the Ninja Foodie, and you do not want to burn yourself. So now I'm going to cook the other side for 30 minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, so now our Ninja Foodie is done, and it has cooked on both sides for 30 minutes. And we have cooked it for approximately one hour. Yes, this chicken looks just delicious. Look at it, you guys. Ooh, -wee. I can't wait to taste it. And so what I'm going to do is get ready to cut it open here on the video for you guys. So that you guys too can make you a whole hen in your Ninja Foodie just as I did. Okay, so I'm going to cut this open with a knife, you guys. So that you guys can see. Um that it actually did cook all the way through um it's just like putting it in an oven it's no different when you're cooking this whole chicken or whole hen in the ninja foodie see that you guys it's still hot but it is done remember to allow your chicken to rest before you get ready to serve it okay you guys so as you can see um it's not too dry it still has moisture in it um and that is perfectly cooked very well i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys try this recipe please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe leave lots of comments down below to and let anyone in your family know about this recipe that has a ninja foodie and share this video out and thanks for tuning in to cooking with tk